Hi guys, oh, welcome to another vlog. I'm Emma and this is my sewing channel, So Do Emma. This is where I talk all about fabrics, patterns and other sewing stuff. So welcome if you're new here, thank you for joining and if you have subscribed, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your journey with me into my sewing brain. Um and yeah, if you're considering, go on, go on, um, join the club, join the little bobbins. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, it's been a while. So last vlog was the Liberty London Newcastle House little tour and what I bought and the trip to London and all that jazz. Um, there's another vlog after this one, something different that I'm talking about. I've not really touched that topic, so I hope you guys enjoy. So that that will be out on Tuesday. Coming. Um. So yeah. So this vlog is kind of like a Friday shows, but Saturday shows, and a bit of. An introduction to a collab. It is an inter introduction to a collab. Um, that um, I'm doing with Adam Sows. Like he's not already busy already with um, a gift in November 2023. <laughs> Hi. And all the other stuff that he's done. So yeah. So Adam reached out after me and Jeff did the Marlow and wondered if I would be interested in doing another Marlow club. But then Friday Company Pog, let's say this again, Pogonip, Pogonip Pullover, this one, came out and I tested for Friday. When do I not taste for Friday? But um, yeah, I when I saw this, I was like, oh yes, yeah, dancer, I'm on it, don't worry. So I think I half hand sewed it and half machine sewed it. Machine sewed the tricky bits like the lining and the pocket lining, um, and then I hand stitched the arms, the side seams, the side bits, and all that jazz. Yeah, that was a journey. Because I couldn't take my machine down to London. Yeah, that would have been a bit of a str <coughs> stressful moment. But anyway, so Pog and Poggo Nip Pullover came out. And I think Adam so was, um, I think Adam had seen this and he thought, ah, oh, I really like it. And then he pinged me and I was like, you know what, would you little, I can't remember who asked who, but one of us asked and I was, um, we both agreed to do the club. So, yeah, that's how it came about. But, yeah, he doesn't hang around and I'm not spying him. Let's face it, I'm going to get my um, skates on and cut this out over the weekend because, I, yeah, <laughs> he's fast, Adam, yeah, fast, and I told him. So anyway, that is a wee nip at how crazy fast he is. Anyway, Pognip Pullover is a pullover with Button, you can either put buttons or snaps here. You've got an optional a uh, back pocket where you fold the jacket into, and you can carry it without trailing your sleeves through the mud when you're trying to carry a normal pullover. So yes, um, typical Friday. Sizing it extra small to 7x, which equates to US sizing of 0 to 32, 
which goes up to a hip of 53 and a chest of 60, if I've got that right. <laughs> um, yes, so that's off memory. So there's nothing really different as per usual. Instructions by Friday are pretty impressive. Um, I, it does have a welt pocket, which kind of screws your brain a wee bit, but you get through it with instructions. And I believe Chelsea talks through the welt pocket on a YouTube video as well, which I'll link in the box below because let's face it, some some of us might struggle with the belt pockets including me i just struggled along without a video but it was good it was good to power it and it was my first belt pocket so i had some idea about doing it um it's i wouldn't say this was a confident beginner i think this is quite an intermediate sourced so definitely a few um projects under your belt so you're putting in elastic to make an elastic casing you're putting on snap buttons belt pockets pockets in pocket linings and you're doing another back pocket and it depends if you're putting snaps or buttons on as well. So you'd have to either do buttonholes and sew the buttons on. Or you'd have to learn how to do snaps. So there is quite a few few steps to cover in this pattern. But um, the pocket net can be made in something like this. Which I kind of copied but not straightforward copied. I somehow got the same fabric and only realised that when I looked at the cover. So something in my brain didn't register, but hey ho, I love it. Um, right. So basically, I'm just gonna just do the splurge. The pogo net pullover is a perfect layer for all your outdoor adventures. It is unlined pullover jacket that features a welt pockets, a sports collar and a snap or button half from placket. It is designed for woven or stable knit fabrics so you can have a lot of fun with your fabric choice. It looks great in everything from quilted fabrics to fleece to linen. Packing and carrying the pogo Pogonet is a breeze with a fun and optional packable pocket with strap. Yeah, I was like, what is this strap for? And I was just like, ah, huh? what? Oh, when I saw the instructions afterwards, yeah, it, it kind of just, ah. Uh, <sighs> of light okay that's okay <laughs> so I got it was 1x to 5x so 1x was the chest measurement and 5x was the hip measurement um, and I think it's true to size I tend to measure the elastic and stretch it as far as it's comfortable, um, yes. So I don't really go by the elastic that the de any designer gives you. I measure it on me if I'm sitting down or standing up and seeing how tight it is and all the rest of it, or loose. It does say if you're really using thick or lofty fabric, it may be harder. It may be harder to fold it into the packable pocket. Consider enlarging the pocket or omitting it. Well, I'm going to be a, do a second version. I've got the fabric right here. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes. 
For the lining strap of your packable pocket, you use a lighter weight fabric to avoid your pocket being too bulky. Did that on the first one. And yeah, I'll have to bring it up and I'll have to show you. Or actually, I'll just do like a video showing you the lining. I've put two different linings in. But I wish I'd just put the same line in it. I use like a Liberty fabric. I like scraps of Liberty fabric that I use for a project that I still haven't finished. And that's about five years away in the WIP. Hi. If your fabric is stiff, you can omit the fusible interfacing on the collar. I quite like a collar interfacing. It makes it stand up, but maybe with... Um, I could might get away with it. It might be quite nice without the interfacing choices. Choices. But yes, um I got away with two meters. It does say two point three for a wide fabric. So that is between one hundred and thirty seven and one hundred and fifty three centimeters wide. Um <clears throat> yeah, for 1x to 4x it's 2 metres. From 5x to 7x it is 2.3 metres. Um, yeah, so it's a lovely little pullover. Um, and I can't wait to mo make more. Um... I have been looking at a pullover pattern for ages and that was Seamwork Akari, I think, if I've got that right. Anyway, I'll put a picture up so you know what I'm talking about. I do have fabric for that one, so I might do that and that, or I might just go and do another pog on it. Yes. So... I'm thinking warm please. I'm apologising the lighting in here is shocking but yeah this is a pretty close um colour representation that's a big word this time of day. Yeah it's twenty five to six swine time after this. Um, yeah, so this was a fleece from a fabric called Mother. I used my voucher that I did with the latest drop. Um, I made the shorter bikini dress with one of fabric called Mother's collection fabrics. Um, yeah, I'll pop a bit in here. I think I might wear this to the staff night, Christmas staff night out, so, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. it's there by the way. Now, oh, well that was entertaining. Uh, okay, can you see it? There we go. Okay, that could have went went wrong long. So anyway, I think this is going to be quite cozy, and yes, it's very close to the first one. <laughs> but I, I, I was like, I could go for the khaki, or I could go for this. Almost went for both. Actually, I know that olive green khaki was sold out on fabric of mother, but then I saw it in so many sunshine and I almost bought it. But it was good, I put it away and I bought something else all away for something else. I'm considering doing a little vlog on what I've been buying recently because I don't think I'll fit it in here. But anyway, yes, um, that is 
that i'll probably use snaps on this and i'll probably interface the placket on the collar and um, to give it a bit more bamboo room strength um yeah so before i forgot oh i seem to be doing that a lot almost forgetting what i'm wearing or completely forgetting mentioning what i'm wearing <laughs> so i'm wearing my tester version of the cameron button up and this is a pattern um by helen's closet it is in the full size range 0 to 34 it goes up to a 62 inch chest and a 64 inch hip um it's got short sleeve and long sleeves and it's got placket as well um it can be made up in a simple cotton learn like this or um a flannel and i'm going to be talking about a bit more about the camera button up and the next vlog so stick with me so yeah i'm wearing the this with my opals <laughs> um if i can i will pop a picture of my opals and my camera it's quite smart for me i don't think i've worn this shirt with my opals yet so this is the first I'm really liking finding new outfits in my wardrobe. So yeah, I don't think I've actually worn this, which is cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is that. Um, we'll be revealing in a week's time. So yeah, look out for that video. And if you can, please, uh, please like this vlog because it really does tell youtube to get its finger out and push me further i reveal me to a bigger audience <laughs> right i'm gonna go take care and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the reveal vlog of me and adam it's brilliant Walk up the river by my son. Feet step over splinters.